Welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die Basic Tutorial. I'm stuck out in the wilderness. I've decided I'm just going to start running towards home because we're at uh, quickly approaching night here. I know you're thinking, well, it's only, you know, 2.30. That's not quickly approaching night. Well, it comes up on you quickly in this game. So, I like to... Uh, not be stuck out here at night. Trust me, the, fir the, the, the first time you get stuck out here at night will be the last time you get stuck out here at night, or at least you'll want it to be anyways. It's, uh, these suckers run around. They will run you down. They don't mess around. So I'm just going to see the compass down there. My little house is on it. Just gonna slowly make our, well, hopefully, kind of quickly make our way towards that. And just pick up some supplies on the way uh, as we can, but not dawdle too long. Uh, one, because we don't want to get our face eaten off by something coming up behind us while we're picking up something off the ground. And two, because we want to make it home before nighttime. Um, Grab a little cotton here and there. Um, not bad to have that for bandages. To stop the bleeding. Come on, highlight. That's kind of annoying too when you're looking right at something, but it thinks it's looking at something else. I'm not sure exactly how they would fix that because those all of those things like the grass and all the stuff around have hit boxes so you just kind of have to deal with it I suppose pipe pipes always good now here's the road that goes down to the first town that we found but we're just gonna cut across here will hopefully allow us to make slightly better time back to the house than running down to that town and then back up to our, you know, our place. We're just cutting a diagonal across here. Hopefully we won't fall in like a ravine or something stupid, which is total, oh, well, see, all right, as I say that, you know what, I want to find a slightly better way down this. I'm not sure how sticky hills are, to, so to speak, and how well, if you run down a really steep hill face you'll, um, you'll fare I don't know about the damage or anything like that from steep hills yeah I hope you don't swim faster than me <laughs> alright back on course here It's good to know that this green area is down here. If I need to spend a day, come down here and scavenge uh, rocks and the such. But I really have got to find uh, a proper town that has the stores in it that I need. Um, I, I'm almost at the point. I hate to do this. It kind of feels like a cop-up, but I'm almost at the point where... I'll continue the series just like on a new map and I'll try and get all this kind of stuff I have I'm trying to get to the position that I'm in now on this map but just uh, on a new world that has better things um, it's a walk of a draw kind of thing of course I, I hope I'm on this side of the river I'm not crossing this river I should know where I live better than this Swim. You can speed swim too. If you hold down control, you go a little bit faster. Uh, up. I just want to kind of get around these, the bulk of these hills, and then I'll get back on course towards the place. Whoop. Some cliffs that will have some clay in them. Maybe some other stuff. So, uh, that shadow looked like a rock, that's why I was slowing down. 
So maybe we'll try going in the other direction on another day. Problem is, we're getting, you know, before you know it, we're going to be up on day seven, and I haven't even gotten a crossbow yet. So this is actually not a great start as far as uh, seven days to die. How are you doing? Nice knowing you. You uh, have a nice day. Enjoy the desert. Man, uh, whatever this is supposed to be. I like that cliff over there. I'm about to run off a cliff here in a second. I'll run by these and see that's all clay. That's pretty much all rock or dirt and then clay. Same over here. That's dirt, that's clay, and that's just will get me rock. And you get big rocks that you can break into smaller rocks, which is nice because the big rocks can also be used for cement. But most of the iron ore you find down lower. You have to go down deep to find that. <sighs> We shouldn't be too terribly far from the town now, I think. I could check my map, but I like the adventure of it all. And uh, I got a compass. Oh, there it is. This town drawn in over there. And a biggie. And a rock. I know you're watching this video. You've probably seen me pass a million rocks. And I wonder why. Why is he picking up that rock when he passed 45 two minutes ago? Sometimes you're thinking about it, sometimes you're not, and sometimes you notice them, sometimes you don't kind of thing, sort of, I, I guess. Shut up! This is my town. You can stay out there in the friggin' desert. I'll live over here in this friggin' desert that happens to have a few buildings in it, and it's not quite so deserty. I do want to move into... The blue model house. I think there is one in this town. Once you've been in a place long enough, you kind of end up just not really getting stuck there, but you get established there to the point where it's kind of a pain to try and change your location. You start building chests, you start, you know, just, uh, I don't know this episode and the previous one haven't been very tutorially tutorial like, but um, uh, it's it's I mean it is in a way because it's about getting lucky and finding the basic necessities you need, and in this case the basic necessities are those that forge a headbook, which I really need to do anything. Um. I mean, I could take a bit and search through these houses, but it feels so tedious sometimes breaking through doors and yada yada yada. Um, searched all these houses. I looked in the municipal building. Am I going in this thing yet? Oh yeah, that's that's wide open. I'm getting there. That in there. Let's search this car. The car. Repair tool. So I got the iron helmet schematic, the iron boots schematics, some antibiotics, a first aid kit. A whole full working SMG? Are you kidding me? Wow. I don't have the bullets for that. And it's, it needs to be repaired. I don't know. It takes the tens. Yeah, it needs to be repaired. Um... Did I actually 
actually take the stuff that was in here. It's uh, above 500. Above 500. Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh, Master. I'm gonna leave that there. There's a pot right there. I already got a pot. If I'm just checking, like I'm not taking it if I don't already have it on me. Squat jump. I'm so good at it. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, come on. You bastard. Well, let's see. Do I have urban? Urban combat. Great. Great. Thanks. Thanks. ahead. Awesome. This book allows you to build a forge. I can now build a forge. And I have... Oh yeah, the uh, this is scrap metal crafting. Makeshift things out of scrap metal. I'm not going to be doing a lot of that, but we'll learn that while we're here. We'll learn the iron helmet schematic. And we will learn the iron boots schematic, mostly so we don't have to carry these in our inventory anymore, and we just now do these things. Um, so, I, 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 I'm flustered by the fact that I found the, uh, and we'll do that by the fact that I found the, the uh, forge a head book. Uh, they're not, oh, there's a chest on this roof. They're not that rare, but like early game, you're like always looking for one, and it's like, will this take out? Not so much. It, it, chainsaw, not good on metal. Some repairs on this. Just won't fully repair it, but I'm just gonna get some a little bit of metal here to uh, to have something to forge to make sure we can actually make a uh, ingot so we can make a crossbow. Cause it's all I care about is a crossbow. So I did do some damage to it. Cause okay, we'll take that and we'll definitely take that. Why did I just take both of those individually? I think squatting doesn't give you the damage multiplier, I'm pretty sure when hitting things. But I still do it just for giggles. Alright, um, I want to get out of here and get back to my humble abode. I know that's not how it's said. Don't try and correct me. Just shush it. It's in here. Oh, good. Glad I took the time to switch that. You switched it. 
All right, let's uh, get back to the house and make a forge. Was there a blue house here? Before I get too involved with this, the blue. I like. I just like the setup of this. Does this town does not have a blue house, does it? The blue house is a uh, basically a three-story house. Uh, and it's got a nice little, this is this one here or this is the same format as a blue house but not actually a blue house yeah let's uh let's clear out here <sighs> oh good job Come on. Uh, I have to build a forge over there and then I have to build a forge. Let's just see. If this door's unlocked, then we'll try and move in here now. Oh, this door's not existent. And there's zombies in there. Or one... You know what? Screw it. Screw it. We'll do it on another day. We'll do it when we have a crossbow. Shish it. sure I'm still undetected so we'll go over here get over here and get a crossbow made and uh, probably just wait out the night basically. <sighs> oh come on dude and uh, hopefully that'll work out all right Tommy, this may be a slightly shorter video than normal. Because I'll probably just, uh, you know, do the mess around at night, waiting out the night off camera. Whoop! Let's, uh, just. It's not obviously secure in any real way. But, it's, excuse me, better than nothing. Um, I get more eggs at all? No, darn it. Gosh darn it. Well, we'll go ahead and just grill. I'm trying to make sure I'm making the best decision here. We'll get the animal hide. We'll need that. We'll uh, grill this venison and grill this pork. Because, you know, you gotta eat. that torch. This torch is going to have a home like here. There, that's, that's good. That'll work-ish for now-ish. Alright, so first things first, let's build that forge. F-O-R-G-E. Right? Forge. And that's a bunch of rocks and an iron pipe. Good thing we got some more iron pipes. Oh, uh, that's six, seven, eight rocks, and one short iron pipe will get us a forge. And we craft that in 15 seconds. Um, while we're doing that, let's uh, let's get some. Where did I put the grill? Was I not just carrying it? Did I put it down? In this chest, maybe. Where's the chest? Uh, there it is. Aha! I'll put the cooking pot in there. Grilled meat is better than boiled meat, and both of them are better than charred meat. You can use a stick. You can put a stick in as cookware, and then you can put a piece of meat in 
and either one of these pieces of meat and you'd get this charred meat this black meat i believe that its nutritional value is the lowest of the three ways you can prepare these raw meats the second lowest is if you put a pot in there and water and boil it and the best is if you put a grill in and grill it the the best short of making it into a stew which requires water I mean, now, I think the boiled meats, though, do give you some hydration where these don't. Um, but you can make a stew out of either pork or venison, but that requires potato and a, uh, and a, a corn. Uh, yeah, potato and a corn and a bottle of water and the meat in a, in a pot will get you a stew, which are pretty much the best foods you can eat in the game. But let me uh, stop talking. Let's go ahead and make some sticks for this. Even though it has the shape of the forge in there left over from the last time, it, it'll still work to do other crafting recipes. Okay. I. And. Nope. Not I. E. And we'll uh, get one. And we want to cook right away. And see, it pretty much wastes that stick. But we get. Uh, oh, we're going to be one short. Well, let's put a couple more in. And get this venison ready to go. Alright. Oh, did I drop? I dropped the meat. You have to take the meat. Oh, oh, I got it. Good, I did get it. Sometimes there's a glitch where you have to... Oh, let's get that back up to 13. Oh, cook, cook. See, this... I wish it would just automatically cook stuff, but I guess I can't do that because that, then you couldn't make recipes, but... It's, that's annoying because I, I end up going through so much fuel because I forgot to click the cook button. It is, it is, it can be very frustrating. You probably will do that as well and be frustrated and it'll make you emo. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and put this forge down here. And real quick, we're going to eat some grilled pork. And we're going to eat some grilled venison. It's really dark in here. Ooh. Um, and if we look in here... Oh, there's... A th I can't make any crossbow yet because dumb. Forgot to go get clay. Dumb. 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 Can't make a crossbow until the next day. Sorry, Charlie. But you learned how to cook some meat. Uh, to grill meat. And how to eat said meat and oh and of course how to hydrate yourself uh, before I end this out for the evening here I will uh, I will uh, get some more golden rock going because it's dark as hell right. let's uh, place this torch someplace better this torch that I should now have in my oh there it is I saw it Let's put it like over here, maybe? Eh, slightly better. Uh, we're gonna put the grill away. Put the cooking pot. Got our bottled water. Yeah, we're gonna turn all but one of these into golden rod. Uh oh. I hear running. We may be dead in the next episode. Or in this episode, if they get in real quick. Maybe they'll just run by. Huh. I'm just going to use planks for this. I was being quiet and listening to them run by. It just takes six minutes to do all these. I think they just ran by. Six, forty, yeah, that's enough. I'm undetected. Another problem with this house is I can't see out of it. So I can't see what's going on out there. Oh, scary. They're all running by the house. 
Now this game, you have what's called heat signatures, and it's not necessarily this fire or the forge. Although I think those do cause them, but not like digging up ground. The heat signature means changing the environment around you. So when you start like making holes and digging trees and you know putting blocks down and changing things around you, then that creates this heat signature of humans are there and the zombies tend to flock to that area. Um, and, and that's why a bunch of them just walked by. They had that, because I've been walking around town and doing stuff, they come through the, the area where there's some heat signature. Now, fortunately, this one wasn't like a, a horde or anything, not a big horde or anything, and it just ran by, it sounded like, which is good for me, or else this would have been it uh, for 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 this to go around here. Um, but on that note, we're going to end this episode a little bit short. It's uh, morning's just starting, and uh, we got our goldenrod tea brewing, which is nice. We'll have lots of that ready for the next episode. And uh, I will talk to you next time where we will go try and obtain some clay, which is going to be interesting to try and do without a shovel. But uh, we'll, maybe we'll see if we can... In fact, real quick, I think I need iron ingots to make a shovel. Oh, I can make a stone shovel. Man, that's going to be... Yeah... Oh, I need four ironing. It's where we're going. I'll make a stone shovel or two, and uh, and we'll just have to get our clay that way. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time. Bye bye.